Assalamu alaikum student I am Shainaz Ansari here so children in the previous video I have explained you about this lesson autobiography of great Indian buster so I hope you remember that lesson that oh, I have explained you uh, in that lesson I have told you that how uh, the great Indian busters are living how they look alike and uh, uh, what they are what they want from us so children here is meaning and question answers are there so uh, please write down all these question answers in your notebook with good handwriting and without any spelling mistakes and I hope whatever lessons I gave you previous we had previous one you all wrote down in your notebook so uh, this one also you have to note down so now pay attention autobiography of great Indian bastard meaning is first one pouch here it means a pocket like space second one resonating producing a loud clear and deep sound predators animals that hunt kill and eat other animals question answers first one is which is the heaviest flying bird in India the great Indian bustard is the heaviest flying bird in India second one what did bustard call in other languages in, uh, answer is in Marathi is known as Maldok or whom how Mr. and Mrs. Busters look like Mr. Buster have long white neck brown wings tall yellow legs and a black cap on his head and Mrs. Buster is smaller and slimmer and its neck is not white fourth one what they eat they eat snakes, lizards, small fruits and berries and all sorts of insects. Grasshoppers and beetles are their favorite food. What is the full form of GIB? The full form of GIB is Great Indian Bustard. Sixth one, how they protect their eggs? Their eggs look like a stone. Mrs. Buster protect their eggs from enemies children your enemy spelling is e n e m i e s this is e like foxes dogs pigs snakes etc what called mr buster in rajasthan mr buster called state bird of rajasthan last question answer is h1 what help did mr buster want from us they are telling us that please save their lives by writing letters to the leaders, draw sketches and submit to the teachers etc. So children here is the end of this lesson. I hope you all uh, listen carefully and you will write down in your notebook. Okay, And get prepared for your test. Thank you.